Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to see how to change uh, the theme of this application and we'll do some cosmetic change of uh, cosmetic change in this application. Okay. So uh, we have a lot of options in, uh, in, in developer console and we can change the, we can change look and feel of this application. The UI, how uh, this application is visible currently we can change the current uh, the uh, the complete uh, ui of this thing okay the color and the representation the font and everything okay so uh, before going to change the theme i'll show you how this is looking so here we have this navigation menu we have a home page and we have a component uh, tab or uh, or you can say that we have a navigation menu called, uh, called as components. And here we have card region and report type of reports. So let's say if we'll go to card region, <clears throat> we can see all these cards. Uh, and when we go to type of reports, here we have different type of reports, classic, interactive, and all those things. Okay. So now I'm going to change the theme of this application. All right. So let me go back again to home page. Uh, okay, so here in developer console, we have an option called uh, customize. And when we click on this customize, we have an option called theme roller. Let's click on this theme roller. So as soon you will click on this theme roller, uh, we have different type of themes over here. The, so the current theme is Vita. Okay, if we'll, if we'll choose uh, Vita dark, and uh, in that case, you can see, and if we'll save it, this theme will get saved. Now you can close this theme roller and and you can see, look and feel entire color uh, got changed of this application. You can check your other regions also here. This is the card region. This is, uh, this is a dark mode actually. All right. And when we click on this type of reports here, we are in this, we are at this place. All right. Now let's change uh, this theme to other one. Other option we have is Vita Red. Let's select this and save this. You can see uh, the theme style got changed. Look and feel got changed here. You have uh, this is in red color and this entire body is in white color. All right. So yeah, this is how it looks. You can you can maybe try on your own with all the different themes. Uh, we have one more theme as, uh, okay, let me select as Vita Slate. So now you can see uh, the look and feel of this. Uh, let me select as Vita Red and we'll save it. Then we'll see how it looks. Yeah. So you can see the color of the buttons and the, and the all these colors got changed. If we'll go to home page, you'll see it over here like this. And the last and the recent update what came in this theme roller is redwood light so this is going to give you the theme of oracle uh, website basically so oracle native theme you can say i'll select this redwood light and i'll save this and uh, you can see this this entire theme got changed here we have components card region so this is now the card region we have this card and these two buttons. This is the badge. This is the icon, what we have. And if you go to type of reports, this theme got changed. All these reports you can see over here. And here, uh, the other options. So this is how uh, you can change the theme of this application. This is one thing I wanted to tell you. And the other thing is, let's say we, whatever navigation menu you can see over here in this left pan, I am going to put all these in the home page itself. So currently this home page is completely blank blank. We'll give some, you know, beautiful some some picture or some card or some navigation menu so that you can directly redirect yourself from here to other page. Okay, so for that, maybe what we can do, we can um, uh, for components, we let's create a, a separate page for components, and there we, we are going to have card region type of reports, or if any other components we will create. Uh, so we will give a, we will create a separate page, and we will redirect this component to that page, that blank page basically. For that, I'm going to create a page, and I'm going to call 
this is going to be a blank page and I'm going to call this page as components give a breadcrumb to this and next we don't want to give any navigation menu to this next and finish now let's go to shared component right click on this application and go to shared component from here and here we have an option called navigation menu go to this place select your desktop navigation menu now as you can see for component we do not have any target so let's give this target as page number four the new page what we have created so from here we'll select page in application and we'll make it as four apply changes and we'll refresh this so here now if you will click in, click on this components you will reach out to this page number four you can see this components and we are in page number four so uh, now you have two fun two facilities if uh, okay let me go back to home page again so either you can click on this arrow button and you can go to the sub uh, region or you can directly go click on this components and you can reach out to this place so this in this uh, page number four we are going to create we are going to give all these card vision and type of reports and all those things so what we will do go to page number four create a region and uh, and 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 what we will do we will create a um, let's create a um, let's create what i want to give these two things okay so for that maybe we can do one thing I'll... Mm, for that okay let's not do that for now so here what i wanted to show you i just wanted to show you that we can redirect from here to here for now we will hard code these two things so i'll, I'll just say that create a classic report or maybe a card region card and we'll write a sql query and we'll say uh select for for card template we can go to this place ut and here from here we will <clears throat> go to components we can choose the card templates and from here we'll come down and we can copy this entire select query and i'll just paste it over here so here card title i'll say as hmm, how many we have card region and type of reports so i'll say card region and card subtitle will be will keep it blank card text we will keep it blank card subtext we will keep it blank all other fields we will keep it blank card color will be blank card icon will be blank card initial will be blank okay or what we can say we let's not include these all things we'll have only one uh, you know column card type card region we'll validate this okay save create an action and we'll make it as full card target to page the respective page so where we are going we are going to page number two so give a page number two click on ok save run and okay so here we have to uh, declare that in attributes go to this place uh, card title is primary key and we can say that card title is title save it run it here we are so now if we we'll click on this card region we are here in card region if we we'll go to components we are here in components so you have created a card region over here you can give a give an icon to this thing as well 
So we can select icon again from this universal theme itself. Go to icons and search by card and uh, select any of this card. So let's say if I'll select uh, this one, yeah. Copy this and we'll paste this thing over here in the icon. Come down, here we have batch, so no icon. We'll say icon class and we'll paste this thing. Icon class got pasted. Save it, run it. So here you can see this card. Again, you can create one more region. So this is for, this uh, region is, we can say a card region or uh, yeah, card region. So we'll make it as card region. You can create one more. Uh, you can, we can create one more region. I'll just say create region. I'll copy this uh, query from here itself. And this is going to be type of reports. Type of reports and we'll make it as cards. SQL query and we'll paste this thing and here we'll say type of reports. Okay, refresh this. Okay, and attributes and then we'll come down. Title will be card title and uh, the actions will say full card and let's see where this type of report go. Uh, it goes to page number three. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to mention here page number three. Okay, save, now run. So here we have type of reports. Now uh, let's give, a, give an icon to this as well. So I'll select an icon from here, report. Not this report, maybe a dashboard or something like that. No, data, yeah. Let's choose this one, a table. And here I will go to type of report, attribute. And I'll come down in icon badge, I'll say icon class. I'll paste the class name and I'll save it. Then I'll run it. And here we are. So we have card region, we have type of region. We can make this next to this by just we'll, we'll do go to region in layout, we'll disable this, start it new row, save this. And as you can see, when you enable it, you can see the layout over here as well. Disable it, this is side by side. Now save it, run it. So see here you have card vision type of report. So the same thing, what you can see here can be seen over here as well. So now uh, either you can click on this co component directly, you'll come to this place. You can choose your card region and then you can come to this place or, or what you can do, you can uh, click on this arrow, then you have card vision, then you will directly go to this card region. So here, uh, this is how, I mean, I'm just gi giving you an idea that how you can enhance your application and how you can make better UI for your application. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Uh, thank you.